guys, Brito here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first look at Blackthorn Arena. Now, huge thank you to the developers for sending me through a key to check this out. Um, so, this is a game where we are running a Blackthorn Arena. We're running an arena, but we're also the master of our own little, I guess you call them the dojos, um, with our own slaves and that sort of thing, trying to train them up to become the best gladiators that we could possibly get so we'll head on in we'll go new game I have had a bit of a play around so what I want to do is I did do the senior difficulty and it was quite difficult I kept running out of money so we'll go with um, junior so on this level the gladiator has a smaller chance of being injured and a lower chance of dying when defeated the player stats starts with more money players initial gladiators will wear advanced gladiator equipment NPC gladiators gain less experience per turn and a smaller bonus their stats as the game progresses. NPC gladiators will have a smaller chance to wear more advanced equipment. Alright, good. So one thing I've noticed um, <coughs> is there's a little bit of, um, well sometimes there's a lot of extended load time so I don't know, I don't know if it's just my computer or what but my computer is pretty beefy so I'm not quite sure what the issue might be. Um, just want to try and get some half decent hair. I don't know. Nothing really fits. That'll do. That's probably as close to my hair as it is at the moment. Um, eyes. I can't even see what that's changing. Brows. Let's go six. Why not? So beards. Got this one, this one's really cool. 13, 12, mid 10. What's that? 8. 8 doesn't look too bad. Or 4. I think I used to have a beard like, that was like this, but I shaved it off. Now my partner get whinging about it, so. Uh, face. I don't know, let's go 4. Skin colour. That'll do it, I don't want to be too white. Hair colour, sort of, I think that's the colour that we've already got, isn't it? Yep. Eyes, I've got green eyes, that it matters much. Uh, body detail, I don't think this really matters, to be honest. So height, head size, that's head width, head size. Uh, upper muscle. Upper weight, um, arm width, big bulky fella. <clears throat> so, so I don't think it really matters too much. It obviously changed the size of our gluteus maximus uh, and our breasticles. Some man boobs. Uh, face detail, which I so don't think it really matters. So let's just go to start. Uh, archive already exists, yep, confirm. Listen to the story here. years ago, the ancient Tali Empire fell apart in an unprecedented disaster called the Great Decadence. Its land was divided into several kingdoms, and its many slaves and gladiators were either liberated or exiled. Those grandiose arenas of which the Talian people were once so proud are now all but abandoned or destroyed. Only a small part of this ancient recreation survived, lingering in a brutal land full of chaos and disorder, called the Freelands. In the depths of the underground, among its abandoned ruins, ten arenas remain and persevere in this gory sport. For many generations, your family has presided over the oldest of these, the Blackthorn Arena. While under your grandfather's rule, the arena's fame reached its zenith, as did your family's wealth. Then, it fell under the care of your father. He proved to be unfit, and the Blackthorn Arena's reputation and popularity declined irreversibly. 
to save the crumbling family business, your father did something shameful, dishonest, and unacceptable to his peers, which is using the forbidden art of magic in the games. His trick was discovered, and he was killed by assassins from other arenas. After your father's death, an enemy took over the Blackthorn Arena, driving you and your mother out of your home. Ten years later, you've returned under the guise of a nameless merchant. The only possession you have is a bag of coins. The past ten years have seen you sacrifice everything you've earned to restore your family's arena. Upon your return, an aged loyal servant of your family recognized you. He swears to help you reclaim your family's glory. Two days later, under his arrangement, you enrolled in a small match in a nameless arena with only two untrained gladiators. And this, this is where your road to restoration begins. Alright, very good storyline, which is pretty cool. Alright, so here's the first loading screen. This might be the one that takes a little while. I've, um, so I played for a little while and some of the loading screens are quite lengthy at times, but we'll see how it goes. So the game does look pretty exciting. It's like a um, simulation slash management style game, of course. So we're trying to manage our own gladiators. We're trying to manage their training, um, you know, their health and their, you know, their gear, their armor, their swords and bows and all that sort of stuff and if they they can have um, fights and arguments between each other as well so we need to manage that and also if they don't obey you can um, punish them as well so pretty interesting all right so here we go that's me there thank you my friends for joining me in my humble arena today especially those of you who have traveled a great distance to be here Today I'm proud to present some new faces, but before the game begins, let me introduce to you Master Brido, the man who recently brought the Blackthorn Arena. Yes, the legendary Blackthorn Arena is back in business and ready for new glory. Alright, so continue. Ooh, nobody likes us. Nobody likes us at all. It's typical. To be fair, I'll send two novice gladiators, so Chad and Falcon. And then we'll send out two novice gladiators as well. We have. Gerald and Clarissa. Alright. Who will leave the arena alive today? It's time to find out. So why has he got a bow and she's got a sword? It should be the other way around. He should be the manly guy. Um, okay, so I don't think it's actually going to give me the tutorial because I've already done it. Alright, well that's fine. So at the moment we've got up here we've got Gerald, 150 150 hit points, 98% stamina, Clarissa 132 and 100%, they're both over incumbent, um, she's got a lot more than him obviously. The engagement style, initiative, passive, um, we've got combat style, cautious or aggressive, uh, follow or hold, um, and he's level, think if we click on him we can yeah, go to him, and you know, make them do whatever you want to do, so pause or resume, game speed, uh, sheath or unsheath, so put your weapons away, get your weapons out. Switch weapons, which if we have a backup weapon of course. Crouch, uncrouch. Force attack. Default camera mode. Uh, party formation, and you can have auto combat or manual combat. So all I've pretty much done is just um, let it be automatic combat. But I might go into here quickly and go... Turn that music volume down a little bit. Alright, there we go. And we'll just let them go. She needs to get in there and help because this Falcon fella is huge. She's pretty strong though. She dodged that attack. I can actually go half speed. So Gerald and Chad are having a good battle over here. Larissa and Falcon are having a good battle. It's probably too slow now. She's about to kill him so he's running off. Gerald's about to kill Chad as well. And we've won! Beautiful! 
the gladiators of Blackthorn Arena are victorious. Not bad for our young master. Now the winner must decide the loser's fate. Die or live? Uh, they put their hands down. Is that saying die? They're saying die or live. Oh, let's go live. Ah, we lost favour. We should have killed them. I thought going up would be kill, down would be... I don't know, not kill. Anyway, so we got 469 experience, 448. Total damage dealt, 142, 128 taken. 144 and 140 taken. So she was probably nearly dead too, which is... Pretty lucky that she didn't actually die. So we got 30 new favour prize, we got 10 silver coins, didn't bet anything, and no bet income of course. We didn't win any trophies because it's just like an exhibition sort of thing. So obviously because I played it before, now there's no tutorial to take you guys through, but I'll try and explain things as best I can for you guys that want to actually get the game and, and play as well. It's actually really cool the way it all sort of works. Uh, get rid of that. Well done, Master. I was right. You are a worthy heir to the glory of your house. But this is only the beginning to restore the reputation, the reputation that your family once enjoyed. You still have much work to do. The sad truth is the large arenas still refuse to allow gladiators from Blackthorn Arena to compete in their games. That ruling is a legacy of your father's shameful deed. You will need to prove your honour and worthiness first in the small arenas. Right now, establishing your influence is your most urgent priority. Oh, and making money. Yeah, that's important as well. You can't run an arena without it. <coughs> okay. Um, I don't really need to ask any of this stuff. How do I improve my influence by winning matches? I own my own arena. What I know is hold my games in my own arena. We can, but we can't right now, but we will future. How do I make money? By fighting you know, and winning. One more thing, Master, I suggest you go to one of the markets to buy some new slaves. Your gladiators will get injured in the match, and while they are recovering, you need to have other gladiators available. It's bad to buy some new weapons and stuff. Okay. Don't need you now, I'm big on. So. Oh, that's him. I don't need to talk to him again. I've heard enough. Uh, what's this one? Is this our quest? Um, here are various events happening in the game. There we go. Next. Here are the current game goals. Father has left. Uh, we need to gain 300 influence. Okay. That's our inventory over on this side. This is all the arenas in the area. Um, some people have got like 18 gladiators. This is the current oops, the current games that are going on at the moment. So ranks. Um, actually, that's the gladiator, the gladiator rank. Level 14 is Human Everard. Um, and then our <laughs> current gladiators, of course. So, this is where they're staying. We've got 4 gold, 98 silver. It costs us 2 silver, I think, per day or per week. Maybe. Can't remember how often that actually happens. Uh, record. So, training ground. Come up here and we can actually left click and select who we want to have work out so we can have Gerald come in here he will eventually maybe run in and do some training here he goes main hall so we need someone to actually cook but we don't have anyone that can really cook great at the moment I don't think treatment room um, Clarissa is injured as we can see here now a torture chamber so if people are I click on here it's got obedience of level 8 obedience level 8 Sometimes if they're in the red, it means they're not going to be obedient to us. We need to bring them in here to torture them, to get them to become obedient. Um, into the smithy, so we can come in here, we can research or craft things. And then we can actually make them ourselves and, and make our own gear, which is going to be really cool. So he's over here, practicing away with his bow. Um, I should come in here and look at him. So he's over-encumbered, so he's got too much weight. We can get rid of that, and that'll drop him under his actual weight, which is good. Um, so if you guys have got any good names, leave it in the comments section. The one with the best name or the most likes will change their name up the top here. So, as I said, if you've got any good names, leave it down there. 
Um, he's about to head to level 2, which is good. Um, trade, movement increase. Increase movement speed by 15%. Attack speed increases by 8 when using pole arms. Needs record. Alright, and then we can actually upgrade them as we go along. So, where's. Um, Because we can train them in... Oh, there we go. We can actually move that, but that's the other side. We can train them in gladiator skill. The leadership. Okay, anyway, so that's him. Now we can sell some of this stuff, because all of this stuff is like blunt and dull and just crappy. He's got a 7 to 12 bow. It's a 7 to 10 bow, a short bow. Uh, a little bit quicker attack speed, stamina cost a little bit less. Um, that's actually worth more money than that one too. Um, so his quiver, that's 2 to 4, that one he's got there is 3 to 6, so it's not too bad. We go across to Clarissa. Um, so she's good at two-handed and pole arms. She's got decent strength and good precision. So I think she needs to really be... Oh, there you go. She's got a two-handed sword, so that's fine. So she's over-encumbered as well. That's 3.6. That's 8. We'll just take that off. She'll be under the weight that she requires. So I don't know how to get this up higher, whether we actually have to... Um, endurance. Intelligence. Willpower. I would think it would be strength. And with Grant, two weight bar capacity as well. Okay, cool. Alright, so we need to come down the bottom here. Go to market. Go to the Black Forest market. So whenever we go to the market, it takes one in-game day, but we can go to all three markets at once. We don't have to just stay at the one. So we can go to all three, go back home, it only costs one day. If you go in and only go to one market and go back home, it still only takes one day. So if you want to go to all three markets, then... You know, it's not going to cost you any more than just going to the one. Right, so as I said, the load times are a little bit weird, a little bit long, but we'll see what happens, I guess. So here are the current slaves available. We've got Lancaster, level one human slave. Uh, he's got good precision, dual weapons. So Lisa here. Actually, I don't know if I can actually go. Yeah, there we go. So she's in a cage here, which means she's very resistant. Um, she's got good leadership, though. Carlson, it's a good strength of 10, and he's a good cook, which uh, could help. Fitzwilliam, um, he's what is he? He's a dwarf, he's only a little short fella. Walton. Got very high intelligence, which is pretty good, and high strength too. But he's obviously quite expensive. He's an elf as well. Calvin is an elf. Uh, he's not too bad. Marion isn't too bad, and Adele. She, oh, she's got great strength. Ten strength. Uh, One-handed. She's pretty good at torture, but we're gonna have to torture her if we actually want her. So I don't think. Um, I think Carlson is pretty good. He looks pretty mean too. He's a level 1 male and he's a Brutman. Unchained Beast. Uh, fragile Bone. Chance of Injury doesn't help. Uh, he's kind. Ooh, okay. He doesn't, he doesn't like to be cruel. I think we'll go... We'll buy Carlson. Now, Weapon Merchant, uh, we can go to our inventory over here, and I think I'm going to sell all of these, because they're not very good. Um, slave hat can go, any medium armour and stuff can go, so now we're going to need something um, for Carlson to use. This Knight Sword looks good, but it's quite expensive. 11 to 13, blunt damage, sharp damage, dagger, 7 to 13, a great sword should be two-handed, yep. 
I think he's only going to be able to use one hand. Let's go with a knight sword. No, it's quite expensive. A round shield. 15 to 140. And that's two. That's four. Let's sell that. 18 to 130. And that's two. It's a little bit heavier though, so if we can go to the round shield. I know we're spending a little bit of money, but we need him to um, have a decent amount of staff. He hasn't really got much, I oh, he hasn't got much armor, but it's because he doesn't have armor here. All right, let's go armor merchant. So anything junior light, we can sort of go with. I'll grab junior light. I'll grab all three of these. I don't know what a senior light means. Seven accuracy. So the heavy, um, that's only two. Junior light boots, 1.2. Senior light skirt. That's 12 silver. It's probably a bit too expensive, so... I think these are just... No cloaks and stuff that we can maybe buy, I'm not sure. Um, it gives you sort of resistances and stuff. 10 health points, 10 stamina points. Uh, gold emerald. Agility, precision, dodge. Strength, health points. Intelligence, willpower, that's pretty good. Food merchant, I don't really know what these do. Uh, lion ribs. There's poor chameleon eye. Giant arm. Delicious salmon steak. Doesn't really tell us anything. So we can go and have a look at another market. See if we can't find another decent gladiator. I think it's good to have, depending on who you're fighting against, you know, if, if we've got one ranged and they've got one ranged, it's not too bad. But if they've got two... Uh, people that want to come in and just attack you straight away like two guys with swords and you've got two ranged people You're still gonna be It's gonna be a bit harder for us. I think so um, So Phelps He's a level one Mal Brutman as well. He's a good coach See the gladiator Doesn't actually tell us what it does um, Rule Oh, so he's opposite to the other guy. Um, it's got good strength though, and precision is good as well. Um, he's got, you know, use a shield as well, and you can dual weapon. So coach ability is good. Um, Bristol, so level one male elf, strength 10, two-handed, he's a good cook. We've already got a cook, don't we, the other guy, but he's level three torturer as well, which could come in handy. Um, level 10 intelligence, She's another ranged person. Um, Bane. He's got good precision. He's a good coach and a good blacksmith as well. Uh, Dina. 11 strength. She's very good one-handed. She's level 8. I think she's worth looking at. One-handed and a shield. Definitely. That's going to take us down a little bit but um, so he's only got two-handed swords which we don't want we only want like a single-handed 8 to 13 wooden club I'm pretty sure she was one-handed but it doesn't actually say if it was a sword or not Oops. Uh, get that back into there armor merchant Junior Light, we'll grab that as well. It's only one silver, so it's really not going to cost us too much. Hopefully I'm not spending too much money. Alright, let's go market. Go to the Pirate's Bar quickly and see if we can't find just something else, like another sword or something. So we're going to have one ranged and three, you know, close combat gladiators. Loading time still a little bit long, but 
It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting game, that's for sure. Once we actually get past this sort of initial startup, and then we can actually get into doing some more, doing some more games and stuff, it'll be a lot better. Um, have a quick look through these guys. Uh, not very good. Not good endurance, but boss. Um, not very good either. Fulton. Uh, good intelligence. That's about it. So we've got. Solstice, level 9 male. Very good shield. He hasn't got very good stats though. Um, Charlie, level 9 male human. Good intelligence, good willpower. Good shield as well. He's a good blacksmith. Uh, Tina, good endurance, but that's about it. Anyway, let's go. Uh, Cutlass is one, one handed. Uh, axe. Minus 8 to dodge, plus 5 move, move speed. Warhammer. 10 to 15 blunt damage, that would be pretty good. Warhammer, I think. Um, and we, we did need another shield, didn't we? But I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy a leather shield because it's quite heavy, I think. Um, See how much she's got 11 strength. So she might be okay by the time we put their clothes and stuff on them. So I'm definitely going to need another shield, unfortunately. They're both the same. Ah, uh, it's just more money down the drain. So we've got two junior light boots, which is good. I've got like three gloves. Four gloves, even. Uh, junior helmets, which I'm not worrying about at the moment. Nothing else that's light, so let's go back home. We'll get these guys kitted out and we'll see what sort of games we've got available. See if we can head straight out and do some damage, hopefully. Right, so they're all going to head out and do their thing. Um, is this guy. Uh, we'll just kid him out while we're here, I guess. Um, equip that. I'm going to move that down to there because it's not very good. Um, junior light boots. Certainly a lot better than those ones. 12 to 13. I think, I think I'd like him to have those. Um, So he needs like a, a helmet and stuff too, but that's fine. Alright, let's go across. We've got Dina. She's our other one, so we can throw on that and that. Give her both of those. She's still not over encumbered, so that's fine. And this stuff's not very good, but it's better than nothing. Um, endurance, intelligence, willpower. One handed, she's good at. Uh, she's good at medical, so he's the good cook, Carlson is. Right, I don't really know. We can get Carlson in here to do some research. If we can get him to cook, we don't have any recipes, so he actually needs to research, but then we can't actually take him to any games if he's in here. Uh, treatment room, so she's not too bad in there. I don't really need anyone else there, we've got a guard and stuff still. Training ground. Gerald's in there. So if we go to world map, um, there's a tournament taking place up here, but we're not allowed to enter. Gladiators are not allowed. This one is an exhibition. The game has already started. It's got the um, swords underneath it, same as here. And we're not allowed to enter this arena either. This is another exhibition. Level 1, team size 4. Prize 15 silver. 10 favour. Ah, oh, that's what we just looked at, wasn't it? This one is a tag fight. Level 4, team size 2, 40 favour, and 21 silver. We could possibly do that. If we go enrol, um, can we get her out of there? We'll bring in Carlson. So, two new guys. Bring them both in. So, he's. I don't know what this plus means. 
Oh, because he's got extra points, he must have went up a level. Um, so he's, I think he's going to be a ranged person. So precision, accuracy, let's go a little bit more accuracy. Ranged weapons. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fine. Alright, go back. Still got a plus there, so I don't know. Traits record. There's nothing else I can do, so I'm not sure why it's still got that there. Anyway, so we're going to take um, Dina. She's the leader. Um, I don't know who's got the better. Doesn't say who's the leader really, or who's the better better person at leading. The leadership, she hasn't got anything. Um, Carlson hasn't got any leadership either, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just go start. So we can send them to fight without us even going, but definitely like for us to actually go and witness the fight. Alright, so Brito versus Chester. We can bet against ourselves or for ourselves. I don't know if I want to bet that much though. Let's bet, let's bet 200. 200 bronze for us. We should really, we should actually hammer them. Level 1 and level 7, we're level 8, or then we're level 1 too, so it's pretty even. Alright, let's start. So here comes our competitor. I think, yep. This guy's heads through the roof, that's how big he is. Alright, so, ooh. He must have got hit by the trap. Come on, Dina. 13.3 damage, he's only doing sixes. She needs to start blocking or start dodging or something. Would you dodge a couple then? Both dodged. Ooh, watch out for that trap. Come on, attack. Attack. He's only level 1, so she should be really kicking his ass, to be honest. I think she's the high level. Ooh, what's happening there? She's got some things going against her, which is good. Now we've got some things. Come on, Dina. I don't think there's a way that we can actually um, swap them out or anything. Character, tactics. Uh, confirm. Get rid of that. Come on, Dina. You could nearly get this win this. I don't think she's going to now. Here comes Carlson. Let's go, buddy. It's a good start. She's actually poisoned us. That's what she's doing. Come on, Carlson. There we go. She's only got nine. There we go. We won. We did get one of our competitors knocked out, though. Right, so victory. So Ginny's actually dead. Dina's only slightly wounded, which is great. She didn't actually die, which is a bloody good thing. Um, fortunately, we killed her, but that is what it is. All right, let's continue on. So he made 379 bronze, 21 silver for winning. He's actually got a leg fracture, which isn't very good. We also made some iron fur and some expensive herbs. Right, confirm. So we did alright, I guess. So we're going to come back into here and uh, put Dina back into there because she's got a broken leg. There's no healer. I don't think we have a healer either, do we? Really? Uh, Cook. Uh, Clarissa's medical. There we go. She can do that. Uh, Carlson. Bring Carlson in here as well. He's a little bit hurt. Dina's still hurt. Oh, that's... Gerald's hurt as well, actually. 
Which is weird. Why is he hurt? He might have been hurt from, um... Ooh, we can expand slots. For tan silver. So, it's basic costs. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just go through a day. Because he should be fine. Just cured the leg injury. That's good. Right, you can come out of there now. Um... Carlson can go into there. I don't think we have like a drill master, do we? But Gerald still needs some healing. Um, Dina can go into there. Clarissa can go into there. So I think Dina's. Dina should still be in here. I'll oh, we'll skip through one more day. One of your... Uh, she clearly got injured while training. Uh, that's not very good. So put Clarissa back into there. Looks like Carlson's gone up a level, which is great. Um, strength. Does extra damage. Um, don't really need to worry about his encumbrance at the moment. So agility. Endurance. I think we'll put his endurance up. Actually, that only gave us half a point there. That's interesting. I think we'll definitely give him one endurance. Can't really do that, he just needs to do that himself. Um, one-handed weapons, because I'd like to keep him with a shield. Right, there we go. Um, Gerald, we've already done. Clarissa, she's got three points. She's two-handed, so we can go two-handed. Precision. Let's give her some strength as well. There we go. Oh, here we go, skills. So this, maybe this is why it's... Um, I don't know. Oh, we've got two skill points so she can learn some other things. That's why it's still telling us. Okay, so two-handed weapon. And get block deal 16% more damage to target stamina. Uh, spiral slash... Learn that, I guess, and that one as well. Oop, that one, and that's just a well, that's a passive. These are actual things that we're actually trying to do tactics. Um, so I'm not really sure about those. So we'll look at those another time. So Dina, Let's have a look through here. She hasn't. She's got heaps of stuff here. The tentative attack. Proficient. Uh, blade dancer. Ed blow. Smart gesture. Uh, Dexterity. So what's that? Cooldown time. When active, have attacked. Have forty percent chance not to have cooldown. Melee damage is reduced. That's probably not really worth it. Um, yeah, that's all right. Which we can't actually move. Increase six dodge when dodge at, and when dodge and attack has the percent chance to strike back, which is just a passive one. Um, Gale combo. Um, it's pretty good. Attack an enemy three times with fifteen accuracy penalty. Each time deal 80% weapon damage. Don't know if that's any good, but we'll put it there anyway. Um, what is that? Not sure what that's sort of meaning. Oh, okay, he's learned. So we can actually go through Gladiator Commander, Duelist and stuff as well. So there's so many different stats we need to look at. I don't know what she's that's going to carry on for. Ah, uh, skills. 
one-handed tentative attack. Uh, Two-handed, which we're not worrying about, obviously. Uh, pole arms are not worrying about. Uh, he's actually... What at the gladiator level, I don't think. Well, like, any of these are actually opened. Interesting. Alright, go to traits. That doesn't actually tell us. Learned, he's only learned that one, but there's nothing else we can really learn at the moment, so... Can't go up to the next level. Alright, let's go back. Everyone's doing their thing. Uh, Gerald should be just about... healed. I don't think... This Dina. Dina should be healed. She's at 99%. So she could probably come into here. Both train. Um, right, skip through one more day. Hopefully no one gets hurt. Oh. Uh, okay. Where's he going? Larissa and Dina. Both the two that help us actually aren't there. You can go back there. Alright, I think what we'll do is we'll, um... Oh, that's interesting. We'll, um, call it an episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far, and if you want to see it continue. If you've got any ideas for names for our characters, uh, leave it in the comment section. Of course, we've got Carlson, level 2 Brut Brutman. Gerald, a level 2 Elf. Larissa, level 2 Human and Dina level 8 human. So if you guys have got any names for these guys, leave it in the comment section. Either the best one that I like we will use or the one that gets the most likes we will use as well. Um, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so. It's been Prudo, thanks for watching. See you again soon.